Hey y'all, let's check out Evermore the Folklore. Hey y'all, so I came across this land not too long ago and it seemed really cool when I panned out. So I'm definitely excited to look around this place with you guys. If you're new here, welcome. It is definitely a vibe on this side. I am shy in Second Life and on this channel we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So when I panned out on this land, it did have a vibe of kind of creepy cute. Like this would be the cute part and then the rest, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna have to just check that out and see. They have this really cute um, dust bunny house. Now, initially when I first um, came here to check this place out, that door, the door to this house um, was open now it is closed i'm not sure if these are actually rentals or if that is just kind of like a glitch going on with this house so we'll take a look just around the outside and not so much so um on the inside so i am really gonna try i know i said last time that you know i'm like you know well in a couple videos back where i was like you know i'm going to look this cute little doggy I'm gonna just like explore these lands with you guys and we'll just see how everything goes. I'm not trying to make it a bunch of parts, but if it's a bunch of parts, it just is a bunch of parts. I'll tell you what, I really did enjoy um, looking around the equestrian land, but four parts, that was a that was a bit much. That was a bit much when added in. I kind of feel like I want to be able to show you guys a lot of different things and i just kind of feel like i can't i just i can't explore these lands the way that i want to and still have like the quality of content that i want to bring to you guys not that it was anything wrong with the content it was just more so i want to be bringing you guys a lot of different things especially since i'm finding all of these super cool places now uh, more and more people are um bringing out their well they're putting out information about the their halloween lands and so i really really want to check those out i'm really interested to see like what they have going on now i am noticing that the fall season is still very much so in effect in second life but um even though it is early october they are transitioning into the halloween um season well the halloween holiday i guess you would call it um wandering new york um they're having like a preview of their land so i'm definitely going to want to check that out with y'all just so we can kind of like look around and you know see what they got going on because i love me some wandering new york love them love them love them um the the guy who put the place together whoever if, if it's just him or whoever's helping him what they're amazing they are absolutely amazing that dog looks adorable they are absolutely amazing so i definitely definitely want to um check that place out with you guys i did a lot of videos in advance and i just kind of found myself almost almost but not quite um putting myself in a position where i was going to be back to just like kind of doing a video the day before so luckily i'm kind of catching it in advance in advance and so that is um, really being helpful for me right now i told myself when i was doing this video it's like if you can pan into these places pan into these places walk into just some of them because what happens is i walk into these spaces and i want to look at every little bitty thing and that is like we've already seen this cart before in previous videos literally a video not too um far before this video i'll put a card up so i'm like we're not gonna look at things that we've already seen a bunch of times even though i really really love it i am in the shared environment and i do like that this is the shared environment for this land because it is 9 14 um p.m in well for me so it's like seven in second light so it's kind of, you know, it's the evening time. So the sun is definitely beginning to set, but it's still a nice, um, the lighting is still nice here. So I'm really excited about that because I didn't have to mess with the shared environment at all. I don't know. What's weird is, 
it don't really feel like it doesn't really feel like the holiday season, like the Halloween season, the Halloween time, rather. I don't really like to call it like a, is it a holiday? I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, as people treat it like that, but you still have school, so it's not like a holiday holiday. But I don't know. It's just, I don't think it's a bad thing, per se, but, you know, just something that I observed. I don't know, maybe it's because it's the beginning of October, and so people have not gotten into, like, the full gear. Oh, this is so pretty. They haven't gotten into, like, the full gear of Halloween. We're still very much so, like, into the fall. And the Halloween lands that I am finding, um, although they are super nice, I'm still finding a lot of fall themed lands, which I do like as well because I still have a lot of fall places that I want to show you guys that we might end up seeing a little bit um, later on. It should be, I'll be able to get to them during um, Vlogtober, but what happens is a lot of times these lands, they don't stay as long as I would like them to. This rug is so pretty. They don't stay as long as I would like them to. So I just keep that in mind when I find lands that I want to take you guys to. Because I don't want to wait too long. Look how cute this is. This is like chicken soup. Like chicken noodle soup. That is hilarious. So I try to keep in mind that this table is so nice. Sometimes, although it's a Halloween land, they're not going to stay the whole month sometimes they will just kind of like stay like a couple weeks and then they'll take the land up and then somebody will come and do something different with the land so i don't want to miss out on um hanging out at these spaces with y'all just from sheer just procrastination fun fact not a fun fact but a, a disappointing fact for me so this is they call this um the mother-in-law's tongue or something like that like that's what my mom says that some people call it i had this plant she said oh that plant is it's so hard to kill it's 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 virtually impossible i had one and uh, she went on to the gardening pot in the sky and so i told my mom i said you said that that was not an easy plant to kill and she's the plan is gone. The plan is gone. I haven't been to Lowe's in a while. So I definitely want to go there because I had so many plants. I had so many plants and things happen in my life. And I really feel like when you are going through things and you have plants, your plants definitely will show what's going on with you. And they did. Look at this the cutest little black cat i love this little cat house and so yeah the plants are i'm down to i'm down to two what's crazy is i didn't even realize that the plants were doing so poorly until it was just absolutely too late so on this land there are a lot of different paths i'm seeing and i do like that i like that they're giving you a lot of different options as to which way you can go such a cool cat does the cat take the sunglasses off there's no way put the sunglasses on <laughs> i love it and then it's the dog like dude how do you how are you doing that so i do like that i like that it is very um have, have a lot it has a lot of different paths so when I pan out, this place looked quite large. There are a lot of different elevations. You guys know I love me some elevations. Um, so we'll get to as much as we possibly can. At most, this may be a two-parter, but that is those those are not my intentions at all. I want to kind of get um, a good feel of this space um, in one video without making the video too long and having to do two parts like I said I, I definitely want to venture around these lands with you guys but I don't want vlogtober to consist of 12 videos that are in four parts each you know what I'm saying like I don't want it to be like that I want to have a good mix of things um, as far as the videos the places that I want to show you guys not taylor swift's reputation oh they messy up in here so yeah what this say you are no longer by my side but i feel you as close as ever oh okay that's nice they, they was getting a little they was getting a little messy with the taylor swift i don't know what that was about 
So yeah, so I had to do a whole pep talk with myself before I started recording. I'm like, okay, listen, we're gonna show them. We're gonna go on a tour. We're gonna go on a tour, but we're not gonna get as in depth. And in hindsight, I'm glad that um, my dog barking at nothing. She has an issue with the neighbors. Like she cannot stand for the neighbors to go to their car. She's like completely enraged by it. She's like, why are you outside? I'm glad that I did the equestrian um, videos because that let me know like right out the gate that that's something that although it was a good idea, it was a good thing that I wanted to do as far as just like showing you guys everything that I see on the land or how I actually will go around the entire land when I'm done um, showing you guys. It just is not, it's not gonna be feasible. This is a, it's like a graveyard. It is a graveyard, but it's so pretty with all the red and the fog. I really, really like this. I like the videos to be around 15, no more than 20 minutes long. And I really never aim for 20 minutes. I always want the video to be about 15 minutes long. That just, I feel like that's a nice sweet spot um, for me as far as not feeling like the video is just running too long. So just doing a bunch of different parts, I'm just like, I can't do it. I can do it, but I don't think it's gonna be fair to you guys. I just don't. So we'll go back to just getting a glimpse of the spaces and the places. I love this bridge and that'll be great. So I'm gonna stop it here. I'll see you guys tomorrow.